Ignatius L. Donnelly's The Great Cryptogram, Francis Bacon's cipher in the so-called Shakespeare plays, delves into the controversial theory that the works attributed to William Shakespeare were, in fact, penned by Sir Francis Bacon. Published in 1888, this literary analysis presents a compelling argument rooted in cryptographic analysis and historical speculation. Donnelly begins by challenging the traditional attribution of Shakespeare's plays to the Bard of Avon, contending that the language, knowledge, and sophistication displayed in the works far surpass what could be expected from the humble background of William Shakespeare. Instead, Donnelly proposes that Bacon, a highly educated and politically influential figure, concealed his authorship using a cipher embedded within the plays. The central thesis revolves around the notion that Bacon employed a cryptographic code to encode his identity and convey secret messages throughout the plays. Donnelly meticulously dissects the text, identifying peculiar patterns, anagrams, and hidden acrostics that allegedly reveal Bacon's authorship. Through linguistic analysis and cryptic interpretation, Donnelly asserts that Bacon left a trail of hidden clues for discerning readers to unravel. One of Donnelly's key arguments is based on the extensive knowledge of science, philosophy, and classical literature displayed in the plays, which he claims surpasses Shakespeare's known education. Donnelly contends that Bacon's background as a statesman, philosopher, and scientist better aligns with the erudition found in the plays. By emphasizing the play's intricate allusions and references, he attempts to demonstrate that the true author possessed a breadth of knowledge beyond the scope of the Stratford man. Donnelly also scrutinizes the historical context surrounding Shakespeare's life, questioning the lack of concrete evidence linking him to the plays. He challenges the conventional narrative and suggests that the absence of personal manuscripts or literary records directly associated with Shakespeare raises doubts about his authorship. Donnelly proposes that Bacon deliberately concealed his identity to protect his political standing and circumvent potential backlash from revealing his radical ideas in a covert manner. The cryptographic analysis plays a pivotal role in Donnelly's argument. He dissects the plays letter by letter, identifying patterns and hidden messages that allegedly unveil Bacon's authorship. While his methods may seem speculative, Donnelly contends that the sheer volume and consistency of these encoded messages across various plays cannot be dismissed as mere coincidence. Through a detailed examination of specific passages, he attempts to decode the concealed messages, presenting a complex web of linguistic clues. Donnelly's work, however, is not without its critics. Many scholars reject the Baconian theory, citing lack of concrete evidence and the speculative nature of cryptographic interpretation. The mainstream academic community overwhelmingly supports the traditional attribution of Shakespeare's works to William Shakespeare, emphasizing the absence of a need for a hidden authorship. In conclusion, Ignatius L. Donnelly's The Great Cryptogram presents a provocative and controversial perspective on the authorship of Shakespeare's plays. Through a combination of historical analysis, linguistic scrutiny, and cryptographic interpretation, Donnelly argues for the hidden hand of Sir Francis Bacon. While his thesis challenges the conventional narrative, the academic consensus remains skeptical, emphasizing the lack of definitive evidence and the speculative nature of cryptographic analysis in literary attribution.